They say public speaking <laughs> is one of the most frightening things for a person to do. Some people even place public speaking above death in terms of things they fear. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you imagine trying to make people laugh at the same time? <laughs> Well, for my how-to speech, I'm going to show you how to do stand-up comedy. <laughs> People often make the mistake of thinking they need to come up with something completely outlandish. But the best thing you can do is talk about what you know from everyday life. I've noticed that when I go to turn the ceiling fan light on, there is a 92% chance I will pull the wrong cord. <laughs> I've noticed that to an illiterate person, a fortune cookie is just a cookie with an annoying piece of paper in it. <laughs> I've noticed that today is the 11 year anniversary of the last time I wore a tank top not as a joke. <laughs> Stand-up comedy is performed in front of many different people, so it is important to know your audience. When you first get up on stage, try out a few different jokes to see which the audience likes better. If I was a dyslexic child, whenever I read about MP3 players, I would think it was time for school to get out. <laughs> I've noticed that if the gingerbread man is made out of gingerbread and lives in a gingerbread house, then he lives in a house made from the remains of his people. <laughs> or maybe try something more shocking. Some people claim to have gaydar, the ability to detect gay people. I can detect Mormons. <laughs> I call it latter day dar. <laughs> when doing stand up comedy, you want to be yourself. But it is also important to have a bit of a stage persona that the audience will think is cool. <laughs> Talk about things everyone can relate to. Ask a question to the audience about something you have in common. Hey, who else hates their job? <laughs> <laughs> Pretend like you care how they respond. <laughs> Sometimes at work, a coworker will ask me, are you working hard or hardly working? I'll say neither, I'm talking to a tool. Someday, I want to meet someone whose native language is wingdings. <laughs> Ultimately, though, it's just a job. Really, if someone were to ask me my dream in life, I would say it is to be the first Latino into space. <laughs> Eye contact. <laughs>